Welcome travellers. Today we're diving deep into the world of top 10 best sub DPS characters. Kicking things off with number 10, Emilie is a five-star Dendro sub DPS character. She excels as an off-field sub DPS whose damage output increases with her attack stat and benefits from the burning elemental reaction. Her gameplay revolves around the Lumidos case, a key mechanic that can be created through her elemental skill or elemental burst. The Lumidus case has three levels, each dealing increasing damage. Level 1 cases are created by Emilie's elemental skill and can be upgraded to level 2 by collecting scents from burning enemies. Level 3 cases can only be created by Emilie's elemental burst. It's important to note that Emilie's elemental skill damage is not affected by buffs applied after its cast. However, her short cooldown allows for consistent uptime. Scents are essential to Emilie's gameplay. Enemies affected by burning release scents, which are collected by the Lumidos case to upgrade it or maintain its level 2 state. Level 3 cases do not collect scents. Emilie is a versatile 5-star Dendro sub-DPS character whose damage output relies heavily on the Lumidus case mechanic. By effectively managing scent collection and maximising uptime on her elemental skill, players can harness Emilie's potential as a powerful off-field damage dealer within their team's compositions. At number 9, Kuki Shinobu is primarily a sub-DPS character. As a 4-star Electro Sword user, she excels in supporting Dendro-based teams through healing and damage. Speaking of support, check out our recent video Top 15 Support Characters, link in description. Kuki shines in Hyper Bloom teams, effectively combining her Electro application with healing capabilities. Her build prioritizes elemental mastery for increased Hyper Bloom damage, while HP boosts her healing. Weapons like Freedom Sworn and Gifos Moonlight complement this build style. The Flower of Paradise Lost Artifact set is ideal for maximizing Hyper Bloom damage, with Gilded Dreams being a viable alternative. Pairing Kuki with another Electro character triggers Aggravat reactions, further enhancing the team's damage output. Energy Recharge is essential for Kuki, especially without Constellations, but this requirement is reduced when paired with Raiden Shogun. Her elemental skill provides healing and electro damage, while her elemental burst deals AoE electro damage with increased power at low HP. Effective gameplay involves quickly swapping Kuki in to use her elemental skill before switching back to maintain healing and optimize damage output. Moving to number 8, Yaimiko is primarily a sub DPS character. As a 5 star electro catalyst user, she excels at dealing consistent off field electro damage. Yae Miko's versatility allows her to be built for various team compositions. While she shines in Aggravat teams, she can also be effective in Hyper Bloom, Overloaded, and Electro Charge setups. For Aggravat teams, focusing on crit rate, attack, and elemental mastery is optimal to maximize damage output. Hyper Bloom builds prioritize elemental mastery as Yae becomes the main Electro applicator and damage dealer. In more general builds, attack and crit stats take are important. Yae Miko's gameplay revolves around her Sishu Sakura, which are electro turrets summoned by her elemental skill. Positioning these turrets strategically can significantly increase their damage output. Her elemental burst unleashes powerful AoE electro damage and resets the cooldown of her elemental skill, allowing for continuous Sishu Sakura uptime. At number 7, Shangling is a 4-star pyro character who excels as an off-field sub-DPS. Her consistent pyro application and high damage output make her a valuable asset to almost any team composition. As a free-to-play friendly character, Shangling is easily obtainable and can be built into a formidable force with relatively accessible resources. Her best-in-slot weapon, the Catch, is a free-to-farm 4-star option that significantly boosts her performance. To maximize Shangling's potential, prioritizing energy recharge in her artifact build is crucial. This allows for frequent use of her powerful elemental burst, Pyronado, which deals substantial pyro damage and triggers various elemental reactions. Shangling's elemental skill, Guoba, provides additional pyro application while she's off field. With careful team composition and build optimization, Shangling can become an end game meta character, contributing significantly to your overall damage output. Next, at number 6, Xing Chu is a versatile 4 star Hydro character renowned for his exceptional off field Hydro application. His ability to consistently trigger elemental reactions like Bloom, Vaporize, and Hyper Bloom makes him a valuable asset to many team compositions. While Xing Chu's Hydro application is unmatched, his damage output can be improved with better weapons. While there are several strong 5 star options, players can effectively utilize 4 star weapons like Sacrificial Sword to support his energy recharge needs and gameplay convenience. Managing Xing Chu's energy recharge is crucial for optimal performance. 
Factors like team composition, weapon choices, and constellation levels influence the required amount of energy recharge. Careful consideration of these factors ensures consistent elemental burst up time. Chinku's core abilities, Guhua Sword, Fatal Rain Screen, and Guhua Sword, Rain Cutter, are fundamental to his gameplay. Players should be mindful of skill rotations and the wet status applied to the character to maximize efficiency and avoid unintended consequences like freezing. Often compared to the five star Hydro character Yellen, Xing Chu offers superior Hydro application and survivability, making him a preferred choice for specific team compositions. In some cases, both characters can be used synergistically to create powerful Hydro based setups. Halfway to our list, Raiden Shogun is a five-star electro polyam character renowned for her energy recharge capabilities and powerful damage output. Primarily functioning as a main DPS, she can also excel as a sub DPS and battery in specific team compositions. Her kit makes her so versatile that she has also made into both our video's top 10 support characters as well in top 10 DPS characters. For Hyper Bloom teams, Raiden Shogun shifts to an off-field electro applicator role. Stacking Elemental Mastery becomes the primary focus, with Dragon's Bane being the preferred weapon. Her role is to trigger Hyper Bloom reactions consistently, and her personal damage output takes a backseat. Raiden Shogun's gameplay revolves around her Elemental Burst, which grants her increased damage and energy recharge. Efficient rotation management and maximizing damage output during the burst phase are crucial. Understanding different attack combos can significantly impact damage potential. In conclusion, Raiden Shogun is a versatile character who can adapt to various team compositions and playstyles. By understanding her strengths and weaknesses, players can effectively harness her power to dominate the battlefield. Quickly taking your precious time, thanking you so much for staying with me this far. I hope you like rest video. Let's continue. Moving to number four, Kaedahara Kazuha is a five-star Animo Sword character renowned for his exceptional support capabilities and crowd control. His ability to buff teammates, trigger elemental reactions, and gather enemies makes him an invaluable asset to any team composition. Kazuha's core strength lies in his elemental mastery, which significantly enhances both his personal damage and the buffs provided to teammates. Weapons like Freedom Sworn and Cyphos Moonlight are ideal for maximizing this stat. While energy recharge is essential for consistent elemental burst uptime, careful consideration of team composition and playstyle is necessary to determine the optimal amount. The Viridescent Venera Artifact Set is the go-to choice for Kazoha as the Elemental Resistance Shred provides complements his support role effectively. His elemental skill, Chayaburu, offers versatility with both tap and hold options allowing players to adapt to different combat scenarios. Kazuha's Elemental Burst, Kazuha Slash, is his primary damage source and elemental applicator. By absorbing different elements, he can trigger various elemental reactions and provide additional damage buffs to the team. In conclusion, Kazuha is a highly versatile and powerful character who can significantly enhance the performance of any team. By optimizing his build and understanding his abilities, players can unlock his full potential and dominate the Taivat world. Climbing up to number three, Farina is a five-star Hydra Sword character who excels as an off-field support and team buffer. Her unique mechanic of switching between ECI and Numa states allows her to provide both healing and damage to the party. As an off-field support, Farina utilizes her elemental skill to deal damage and drain the party's HP, which is then converted into powerful buffs through artifact sets like Meikosi Hunter and her elemental burst, Let the People Rejoice. Golden Troop is the best in-slot option for maximizing damage output. Energy Recharge Sands may be necessary depending on team composition and constellations. Her energy recharge requirements vary based on team composition and constellations. Aim for 100 to 220 percentage energy recharge. Focus on using her elemental burst followed by her elemental skill at the start of rotations. Utilize charged attacks to switch between Azia and new mistakes. Accumulate fanfare stacks through HP fluctuations to increase team damage. Aim for rapid fanfare generation using healers that can heal the entire party. Farina's complex mechanics and unique playstyle require careful planning and execution. By understanding her kit and optimizing her build, players can harness her full potential as a powerful support character. Up next at number two, Yellen is a five-star Hydrobo character renowned for her exceptional off-field damage capabilities. Her primary role within a team composition is as a sub DPS, consistently dealing Hydro damage and setting up powerful elemental reactions. By applying Hydro to enemies, she facilitates reactions like Vaporize, Freeze and Bloom, significantly amplifying the overall damage output of the party. When it comes to equipping Yilen, the Aqua Simulacra is generally considered her best in-slot weapon due to its synergy with her kit. 
However, the elegy for the end can often outperform it in teams that heavily rely on elemental reactions, thanks to its elemental mastery boost. For players seeking to reduce energy recharge pressure, the Favonius Warbo and Sacrificial Bow are solid options. Alternatively, the Muin's Moon and the Stringless are suitable choices if energy recharge is not a major concern. In terms of artifacts, the Emblem of Severed Fate is a standout choice for Yellen. This artifact set not only provides substantial damage bonuses, but is also highly efficient to farm, as it is used by several other popular characters like Raiden Shogun, Shangling and Xing Chu. Finally, our top number one sub-DPS, Nahida the Dendra Archon, is a five-star Catalyst user who shines as an exceptional sub-DPS support character. Her primary role is to apply Dendra off-field, enabling powerful elemental reactions with other party members. She also significantly boosts the team's elemental mastery, enhancing overall damage output. To maximize Nahida's potential, focus on building high elemental mastery. While the Gilded Dreams artifact set offers substantial elemental mastery gains, the Dendro Resistance Shred from Deepwood Memories is generally prioritized for the team. Equip Deepwood Memories on another character and prioritize elemental mastery on Nahida through artifacts and weapon choices. Nahida's gameplay revolves around applying her elemental skill, all schemes to know, to tether enemies and set up Tri-Karma Purification, which deals damage based on elemental reactions. Her Elemental Burst Illusory Heart provides a significant elemental mastery buff to the entire party, further amplifying the team's damage. By effectively utilizing Nahida's abilities and building her with a focus on elemental mastery, players can create devastating Dendro-based team compositions. Navia is a five-star Claymore character who introduces a fresh take on the Geo element. Unlike previous Geo characters reliant on death scaling or mono Geo teams, Navia's damage output hinges on crystallized reactions. This unique playstyle necessitates team compositions with multiple elements to trigger crystallize and maximize her potential. As a result, Navia excels as a quick swap sub DPs, dealing significant damage with her elemental skill while providing a protective crystallized shield. Her core mechanic involves accumulating crystal shrapnel by picking up crystallized shards or through her elemental burst. These shrapnel enhance her elemental skill, transforming it into a shotgun-like attack with increased damage and projectile count. To optimize Navia's damage, players should aim to consistently trigger crystallized reactions and maintain a high number of crystal shrapnel. Her elemental burst further supports this by generating additional shrapnel and dealing AoE damage. While her normal attacks can be infused with Geo after using her elemental skill, prioritizing elemental skill and burst usage is generally more effective. Navia's playstyle requires careful team composition to maximize crystallized reactions and benefit from her unique damage mechanics. Nilu is a five-star Hydro Sword user primarily designed as a support character who specializes in enhancing bloom reactions. Her unique mechanic revolves around creating bountiful cores which boost the damage of bloom reactions. To maximize Nilu's support capabilities, focus on building HP to the recommended cap of 74,444. Prioritize weapons like Key of Kajnisa or the Dockhands Assistant, as they offer the best HP scaling options. Energy recharge becomes crucial for consistent elemental burst usage, aiming for 150 to 180 percentage for optimal rotation. Nilu's core gameplay involves utilizing her elemental skill, Dance of Haft Kasvar, in conjunction with her elemental burst, Dance of Abzendigi, Distant Dreams, Listening Spring, Spring. The elemental skill has two forms, Sword Dance and Whirling Steps. Sword Dance is ideal for minimizing Nilu's personal bloom ownership, while Whirling Steps promotes more frequent bloom reactions. By understanding Nilu's unique role and optimizing her build and gameplay, players can significantly enhance their team's bloom damage output. If you liked our picks, check out our channel for other similar content that might interest you some way or another. Remember, these are just a few of the many great sub-DPS characters in currently support Teyvat. The best character for you will depend on your playstyle and team composition. Experiment with different characters and find the perfect combination for your adventures. That's it for our top 10 best sub-DPS characters. Did we miss your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more Genshin Impact content.